Welcome to this Bendy Systems training course on StatPro. In this video, we will learn how to perform optimization on a steel structure in StatPro utilizing the Australian Steel Code AS4100. StatPro is capable of selecting section sizes for our steel members based on code specifications. This optimization can be achieved by adding specific design parameters and commands to our model. In this example, we are currently selecting AS4100 as our design code, and I have an analysis command and some design parameters already added to the model as well. These parameters are not related to the optimization process. So let us now go ahead and define some design parameters and commands that would be required for optimization of our steel structure. Before going into the design parameters list, I would want to toggle the physical member mode so that I can assign the parameters to the physical members. This model already has some physical members that I had created for design according to AS4100. Firstly, I will select the ratio parameter and add it to my model with a value of 0.9. The ratio parameter is used to specify an upper limit for the ratio of applied forces to the capacity of the section. We are adding this parameter because once we change the sections according to what is required by code specifications, the analysis will be outdated as the self-weight and the stiffness of the structure will change. Hence, if we reanalyze the structure with the updated sections by adding another analysis command, the members may or may not fulfill design requirements for the new analysis if we keep the ratio at a default value of 1. Therefore, with this upper limit of 0.9 on the design ratio, we are providing some room for the updated sections so that they can accommodate for a slightly higher demand if required after the updated analysis. This way we don't have to perform too many iterations on our design. In this example, I'm trying to optimize the sections for my columns, end posts, and rafters. So using the members cursor, I will assign this parameter to these members. Next, I will click on the command button and add a select command. This command instructs StatPro to select optimized member sizes. This will be based on the specified design code and any design parameter restrictions, such as the ratio limit that we have just imposed. The selection is done using the results from the most recent analysis and iterating on sections until a least weight size is obtained. I will add this command to my model and assign it to the rafters, columns, and the end posts. With the select command, the section sizes will be selected on a member-to-member -member basis. If we want StatPro to further group certain members together, we can add a group command so that all members in a group will get the same section based on the largest property specification. The group command cannot be added while we are inside the physical member mode, so for the time being I will toggle it off. Going back into the commands, I will click on group and here I can choose a property specification as a basis for providing the same section for all members in a group. I can choose the cross section area or the section modulus along the major or the minor axis as my property specification of choice. I will choose the area option now so that all members in the group will get the same section as that of the member whose section has the largest area. I will add two such group commands and assign these to my rafters in one group and columns and end posts in another group. Once all of these commands get executed and StatPro selects new section sizes for our members, I will then add an analysis command so that a new analysis is performed based on the now updated sections. Before performing my final code check after the analysis that we have just added for considering the updated sections, I'm going to change the upper limit for the ratio of the applied forces to the capacity of the section back to 1 using the ratio parameter. This will mean that even if this ratio exceeds the previously allowed upper limit of 0.9 for some members, those members will still be considered as passing if the ratio does not exceed 1, which is our new limit. This is again going to be added to the columns, end posts, and rafters. For the final code check, I will add the check code command and I will assign this to all the physical members excluding the braces.
Before we perform our analysis, let's check the sections that are currently being utilized. In the data area of the properties page, I can see that the columns and end posts have been assigned a UC150 section and the rafters are having a UB200 section. Now I will go to the analysis page and perform the analysis. After the analysis is complete, if I go to the utilization layout, I'll be able to see the analysis property column, which includes the sections that I had assigned to the members myself. So this is showing some UC150 and UB200 sections. The section selected by the program as a result of optimization based on the design parameters that we had provided will be shown in the design property column. And I can see the program has selected a UC200 section for the columns and end posts and UB250 for the rafters. If I look into the properties page again, I will see that the new section properties are actually not yet assigned to the members. In order to make the change, I can either assign them to the members myself or I can go back to the post processor and click on update properties, whereby any members identified as having a new profile as a result of the optimization will be assigned the new section. I will click on update properties to make the changes and if I now go back to the properties page, I will see that the new sections have now been assigned. Now that the new sections are actually assigned, this will require the analysis to be rerun to account for the new properties. For this reanalysis, I don't need StatPro to go through the design parameters added for the purpose of optimization. So I will go into the command file from the utilities tab and I will disable all the commands starting from the first ratio parameter till the second ratio parameter by turning these lines into comments. I will exit out of the command file by saving and if I look into the design parameters now, I will see the parameters we added for optimization will now be disabled. I will run the analysis again and in the utilization layout, I can see that all members are passing and the analysis as well as design properties now correspond to the new sections. This concludes our video on optimizing steel structures in StatPro by utilizing the Australian Steel Code AS4100. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.